Hi guys, welcome to our section about real numbers. In this video, we're going to learn what are the integer numbers, whole numbers, naturals, and all that. Let's start. Anytime you hear the word integer, you have to think about whole numbers that are negatives and positive. For example, negative 3, negative 4, negative 2, negative 1. Also, the number 0 is an integer, 1, 2, 3, and so on. As you can see here, an integer always has to be a whole number. Positive, negative, and it includes the zero. Then you have the whole numbers. Now, the whole numbers are integers that go like zero, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. If you have negative three, negative three will be an integer, but it's not a whole number. But if you have the number two, the number two is an integer and it's also a whole number. What about natural numbers? Natural numbers are all the positive integers. That means that you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. As you can see here, 0 is not a natural number. These are the numbers that we use to count stuff. So anytime you hear natural numbers, you think about all the numbers that go after the 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Then we have the rational numbers. Rational numbers are numbers that we can put into a fraction and they can look also like decimals. For example, 1 over 2, it is the same as 0 0.5. 3 fourths is the same as 0 0.75. Also, number 7 is a rational number because I can go ahead and say 7 over 1, which is a fraction, or I can say 14 divided by 2 which you know that 14 divided by 2 gives me what? 7. Therefore, if you want to go ahead and classify 7, you can say that 7 is an integer, 7 is a whole number, 7 is a natural number, and 7 is also a rational number. Then we have irrational numbers, such as square root of 2, pi, and square root of 7. These guys go on and on. For example, pi is 3.14, and he just goes to the infinitive. So the numbers that we're always going to be dealing most of the time with tests is going to be integers, whole numbers, naturals, and rational numbers. Now let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about integers. When they'll tell you an odd integer, you have to think about 1, 3, 5, basically any odd number. What about an even integer? Yes, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 6, 8, 1,000, and so on. Now, very important, 0 is an even integer. It is a neutral number. It's no positive, it's no negative. So when you hear the word uh, 0, you think an even integer. Let's go ahead and practice. The number negative 3, is it an integer? Yes, it's an integer. Is it a whole number? No, because remember, whole numbers have to be positive integers, including the zero. Is it a natural number? Well, again, no, because it's negative. Is it a rational number? Yes, because I can go ahead and just say 9 over 3 is the same as negative 3. Is it a rational number? No. Once it's rational, it cannot be rational. What about 2.5? Well, this guy is not an integer, not a whole number, not a natural number, and yes, it's a rational number, and not a rational number. You can see here that an integer is immediately a rational number, but a rational number is not an integer. Finally, square root of 3, not an integer, immediately not a whole number, natural not a rational number, it's actually an irrational number. What about the number 4? Well, it's an integer, it's a whole number, it's a natural number, it's a rational number, but it's not an irrational number. Now we have a square root of 25. This is a tricky one. Don't forget, a square root of 25 is actually equals to 5 or negative 5. Therefore, Square root of 25 is going to be an integer, and it's also going to be a rational number. 0.75, well, pretty easy. Rational. 
The number zero, we know this guy is an integer. Love it. Thank you so much. And again, thanks so much for learning.